Greetings, Zog Lang Wigger and Man's Rass Files across the fruited Nut Zog Play here in the open air Coast Coast Nut House we call Zog Babylon, the third and the final. But I'm mainly talking to you Moron Zuri retorts because this is another episode of Mad Dog's Musings. For September 1st to September 2nd, it's around what 1.20 a.m. I'm going to go ahead and talk for about 10 minutes and try to go ahead and load it up here to a safe location. All right, the main, you know, the main, there's a number of big things about the news. Uh, you know, old Gorby croaked off here and most of the Russians are glad that that bastard's dead. Uh, but talking about another senile old bastard here, you had senile Joe Trump. He went ahead and did a speech. And most of the tards who don't much care for senile Joe said he was declaring war on Trump tards or on, you know, uh, the Zog Emperor. And he was. He was. Uh, let's understand something. Just like with Brian Rio, going ahead and going to Northeast Ohio and taking my property and then, you know, then having these crooked South Dakota state judges take it here. Folks, you know, this Civil War has been on the making since the very first Civil War was lost. And pretty what, what it boils down to is that we really hate you evil bastards who live elsewhere. And what, what we want to do is we want to get free of you. So you hear senile Joe whine, 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 whine about people who will not take the thieving that was done of the 2020 selection. You know, we know it was stolen. Uh, you act like we're supposed to knuckle under and take your thieving here, just like with Brian Rio. And, you know, uh, Ohio and South Dakota, well, no. I mean, I have said since, what, the 13th of June, 2016, that you need to Chernobylize the North Perry nuclear power plant. Kill millions of Zoglings. You know, teach them that, guess what, they don't get to go ahead and whine like a pussy because some crazed homosexual mongrel Zogbot wants to. I mean, just like, you know, just like with the FBI. You know what they did at Waco and Ruby Ridge. Why are these people not rounded up with their entire families and put in the J. Edgar Hoover building and you set fire to it? And then you shoot them and their families when they run out like rats here in a dump. Why, why are you dicking around with it here? You hear these idiots talk about, oh, wigger whippers like the Z-Mamser and all this here. But when it comes time to go ahead and talk about violence, oh, no, we don't want to talk about that. We don't want to talk about that. Well, folks, it's going to end up happening sooner or later. So anyway, I'm looking, you know, reading that stupid shit here. Uh, they said it would be on primetime TV, but... Uh, I was looking on what? NBC, and it wasn't on NBC. Or, I didn't see it anywhere. And so we talk, say so talk for 20 minutes, and maybe I'll be able to go ahead and download, but increasingly it seems like nobody even listens to that senile old goofy bastard. So anyway, that is what was going on, is that senile Joe was running around, and they act. You know, be it in South Dakota or wherever. They act like, no. If you get the if you get the jump on them and you're able to Chernobylize their nuclear power plant, you're not going to. Well, no. We get. You know, I mean, there there's the ability to do it. In fact, it's really easy you know, to as, as long as you get control of it. Now, what's going on is I was looking at you know see what they what they have. They have the Ukrainians. They're using Zog artillery to go ahead and shoot toward the uh, nuclear power plant. Now, the Russians don't dare leave that nuclear power plant and leave fuel rods in it. I think what they're going to end up having to do is go and take these trucks and pretty well line them up, probably with Ukrainian prisoners of war, and take that, you know, you, you know that plutonium and uranium, the nuclear fuel rods, both uh, active and inactive, 
and simply take them off to Russia and make sure the Ukrainians can't go and reprocess them into nuclear weapons. That's what they're going to have to do. So they were trying, they had a, uh, they had a, uh, an attempt to use their what little remains of their armed forces here. And from what I gather, they lost 1,200 men and 50 or 100 tanks or whatever. Uh, you know, they're not able to have an organized whatever, but they are able to, you know, and essentially Zog is helping. Now, you know, folks, I, if, I, if I was Vladimir Putin, I'd just simply tell Senal Joe that, look, Senal Joe, uh, keep digging around. Uh, Iran is going to have nuclear weapons because we're going to go ahead since you're giving since you're giving them military weapons, which is striking, you know, which you allow to strike into our country and also go ahead and strike that you know, nuclear power plant. Well, guess what? We're going to go ahead and give weapons to well terrorists like we used to do back. In the days of uh, you know, when you know when Russia used to go ahead and finance the Red Brigades and the Bader Meinhof gang, a whole bunch of terrorists, Carlos the Jackal, whatever. I mean, what's good for the goose is good for the gander, and that pretty well solved things. But you end up having these idiots talk about having more nuclear weapons. Well, no, the the, the nuclear materials and that, that's not a case at all because here you have a whole bunch of hatred and that's what got me about Biden you know and all these other characters I mean their 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 little minds what little they got are eaten out by Trump now I'll admit is that ever since June 2015 you know he announced I don't know if I've ever had a single day where I didn't at least think about Trump you know what I mean Trump is, you know, he's a carnival barker. He's a wrecking ball. He's larger than life. So, that's what you, you know, that is, you know, what you have is that you have Zog falling apart more and more and more and more. In any case, I went and renewed, timely, went ahead and renewed my church. I want to go ahead and sell my big church building in this small town, but some what I'll do is that you know, maybe I'll go ahead and talk with some people who have a little bit of money and also you know, also sell them walking wombs, walking wombs, uh, you know, that sort of thing. So anyway, I got a call, I bet, from my brother, Pig Hook the Mother Killer. So it's about 127, I will talk to you later, you know, for, you know, the... You know what? Mad Dog's Music? Hail Victory.